So in this video, we are going to talk about what is O n cube means cubic time complexity. So cubic means that the cube of the input size, if the input size is equal to n, then the time complexity will be O n cube. For example, multivariable equation, it's a very famous interview question that we will take this example as well. And then whenever you are using, let's say triplet nested loops, uh, three nested loops that you are using back to back, that will give you O n cube. And at the time of interview also, people might ask you to calculate the or derive the formula for the O n cube time complexity. How to do this? Pretty simple. So let's see, this is the method that I have written where uh, method name is a trip, uh, a triple nested loop. And we are passing one parameter n that is the input size. So what exactly I'm going to do that I'm going to write one for loop. And then I'm going to create, let's see, for example, uh, x is equal to which is starting from let's see zero and then x is uh, less than n and then i'm writing x plus plus and then once again i'm writing another for loop inside this loop and then i'm starting let's say integer uh, y is equal to zero and then y less than n and then y plus plus <clears throat> then i'm writing another for loop that is uh, let's see z is equal to zero and then uh, z less than n and then once again n plus plus z plus plus here okay and then let's see i'm printing some statement here so this is integer z and i'm printing one statement for example let's see system dot out at print allen and then let's see i really want the output like this the output should be zero 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 and then i'm writing zero zero one then i'm writing zero zero two zero zero three zero zero four like this Okay, so I want this particular format and in the next line it will be this J will become one there in that case. So it will become uh, 0, 1, 0 like this, then 0, 1, 1, then 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 3 and then 0, 1, 4 like this. So what exactly I want, I don't want to add these three numbers, I want to concatenate them. So I simply say, okay, this is X plus with some uh, no string plus Y plus again uh, no string plus z plus and then I want that particular space as well in that case so I simply say okay fine put that space over here and I want all these uh, three uh, triplets number should be written in the same line so I don't want to print with the ln and after this the last loop I want to generate a new line over here as well like this so let's see this is a simple method that is what I have written now I'm going to call this particular method where uh, I have to pass the value of n, which is let's see n is equal to four in that case, or n is equal to five, let's see in that case. So what will be the output, let's see. So in this case, if I'm running this application, with the Java application here, you can see that we are getting the output like this, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 4, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 4, like that. And then it will keep giving you all the different combinations up to the last number will be triple four over here because we are not using less than equal to n, we are using less than n. If you are making it a six, then the last number will be a triple five. At the end here, you can uh, see that, right? So how exactly this is working? Because the inner loop <coughs> will be executing first against y is equal to zero. And the second loop will be running completely against x is equal to zero like that. So first time, what will happen? x is equal to zero, x less than n, n is what, let's see in case of six, condition is satisfied, then inner loop will be executed, that is the second loop will be executed, y is equal to zero, condition is again satisfied, then it will go to the third loop, that is z equal to zero, z less than equal to less than uh, n, that is again satisfied, and then it will concatenate x plus y plus z. So what will happen for y is equal to zero, this entire loop will be executed, once this is done, then only y will be increased. Once this entire for loop will be done, then only the outer loop will be increased with x plus plus. So that's what this is called what three nested loop that I have written loop number one, loop number two and loop number three. So what will be the time complexity? How will you calculate that? So for example, let's see the first loop that I have written, which is getting executed. Let's see x is equal to zero, which is like one plus x less than n it will be executing let's see n number of times and then after that the second loop once again the second loop is also y is equal to zero which is getting executed one plus n and then the third loop which is again that is the third inner loop which going to be executed z is equal to zero it means one time 
z less than equal to less than n again n number of times it will be executing and then it will print this particular statement also so let's see i'm saying it will print n number of times then the z will be increased by one sorry increased by one n number of times so i'm saying plus n over here then y will be increased by one or n number of times that in that case again n number of times i have to add in the second bracket and then the first one the first loop which is represented by this particular bracket and then x will be increased by one n number of times plus n so when you calculate all these equations together so if you see that it will give you something like this that is one plus a two n once again one plus a two n and then it is one plus a three n over here right something like this one plus three n if you really want to include this thing in the second loop also you can include that so it will let's see plus n once again over here so this is actually giving you one plus three n so when you calculate all these guys together so it is like this one 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 right or you can just calculate these two brackets first and then <clears throat> you can calculate with this okay you can multiply with this so ultimately what will you get once 2n multiply by 3n multiply by 3n it will give you n cube here right so it will create the equation something like this when you remove all the constants from here it will give you the n cube plus n to the power 2 okay i'll write it here n cube plus n square plus n plus 1 okay so it will give you the equation that is called a cubic equation so that's why this kind of complexity will give you a cubic equation in the last o n square we have seen that is a quadratic equation before that we have seen o n that is linear equation and o 1 is the constant time equation so this is a cubic equation right so how will you draw this cubic equation this particular a mathematical representation on the graph so on the graph it will uh, somewhere over here this is like really really time taking complexity i would say the algorithm so let's see i'm just representing with this particular color let's see a pink color or something and then i'm going to draw it from here so it will actually go like this it is more left hand side of the o n square and then it will be like this so this is o n cube so you have to draw the things at a time of interview also this is o n to the power three times so tomorrow if you have let's see fourth loop also inside this particular loop that will be o n to the power four because ultimately it will create another bracket and then all these four n's will be multiplied then it will represent n to the power four so it will be like n4 n cube plus n square plus n plus one like this so that's what the overall time complexity here the big O of n to the power 3 here. Okay, like this. So that's what this is called a cubic equation O n cube here. Perfect. So this is like whenever you have to print the triplet format like that. In that case, you can just use this particular uh, time complexity, which is a very, very rare case. Okay. Anyways, so the one more example we will talk about that is multivariable equation that how to solve this. This is again an interview equation. For example, uh, let's take this example. Let's see you have to calculate equation here that is 3x okay, plus 9y plus 8z which should be equal to 79. So you have to find out all the combination of x, y and z and when you multiply with 3x, 9y, 8z and then when you add them together the calculation should be I mean the addition should be 79 in that case. So how many combinations that you can uh, create it over here. For example, let's say if I ask you that if I add, uh, let's say x is equal to uh, 0, then in that case, it will be 0. Then if I say that um, y is equal to 8 or y is equal to, let's say 7. So 9 multiplied by 7, that will give you uh, 63 plus and let's see 8 multiplied by 2. Then in that case, 8 multiplied by 2 is equal to 16. So this is giving you what? This is uh, 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 and 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 over here. So this is giving you 7. So how many combinations that we have created that x is equal to 0, y is, is equal to 7 and then 8 is equal to 2. So you have to find out all the combination where when you add this equation, it should give you 79. This is an interview question. So first said that from this particular equation that we have found that x is equal to 0, comma, 
and then uh, y is equal to 7 comma and z is equal to 2 so this is the first set which is fitting with this particular equation so how will you solve this so this problem which can be solved with on square also it can be solved with on cube also let's see how to solve it so i'll do one thing i'll just take this same for loop over here or uh, i'll do one thing i'll just go into create another method over here see this is a very famous interview question so don't get confused let's see i'm writing one other method public static uh, void let's see uh, multi number equation okay something like this and then the number <clears throat> that i'm going to uh, pass it from here so let's see integer n from here and then i'm going to write this entire for loop once again i don't want to print this thing and forget about this also so i'll say okay x is equal to 0 up to n y up to n and z up to n right now see this carefully this is the equation that we have to use 3x 9y and 8z so i'll simple i'll just put a condition that if what 3 and the product of x like this 3 multiplied by x plus 9 multiplied by y plus and 8 multiplied by z if it is equal to equal to what whatever the number that you are expecting 79 then in that case i got x y and z combination then i'll do one thing i just simple write system dot out at print allen and then i'll print the value of x okay i'll print the value of x plus with some space plus y plus with some space and then plus z over here like this so this will give you the combination like 0 7 2 something like this if you really want to put a comma let's put a comma actually so 0 comma 7 comma 2 like that so let's see how many combinations uh, we are getting from here so i'm going to call this particular function i'm going to comment it out this one and i'm going to let's see call this function and i'm passing n is equal to 10 right so up to 10 you have to find out all the combinations okay so let's see how exactly it is giving so here you can see the first combination is 072 that we have already seen likewise you can see 145 and you can cross check that uh, 3 multiplied by 1 9 4 36 36 plus 1 is equal to 37 and uh, 8 multiplied by so 36 and plus 3 is equal to what 39 plus 40 is equal to 79 so 145 is getting satisfied over here so likewise it will satisfy all the numbers here so this is a solution that is giving you the equation and the combination of xyz which is satisfying this particular equation so they might give you any equation which is equal to 79 or whatever and that is <clears throat> the predefined you just need to use this equation in the if condition here and uh, find out the uh, multi triplet number for this particular equation which is justifying it that's it so that's a simple solution for this so if you see this the time complexity of this particular algorithm is also o n to the power 3 over here that is a cubic time that we are getting here right because uh, again n multiply by n multiply by n so that will give you n a cube with this particular condition also but ultimately it will be o n cube as well right so that's what o n cube is more and more expensive because uh, see if you really combine the dots here that for let's see for uh, for five set of data it is somewhere taking around 10 seconds but if you see that o n square is taking around one second only but if you have let's see uh input size is around 50 which is merging over here around more than around you can say around 70 or 80 seconds but o n square is taking around only 20 seconds over here like this right so the o n cube is more worse so you just keep moving the graph o n to the power 4 or o n to the power n something like this you can draw it over here like that okay so this is about the o n cube cubic time thank you so much